Hi guys, welcome to chapter 8.2, Applications of Linear Law. So in this chapter, we will learn how to find our gradient and use it to estimate some unknown constants. Okay, and also we, we will be plotting linear graph on graph paper. And lastly, we'll be using the linear law to analyze some experimental data. Okay, so in example number one, okay, we are given uh, this equation, y equals to a over x plus b. And the question says that we want to plot x, y against y. So take note that we will always plot big y against big x. So the question is already giving me a very big hint that my big y is x, y and my big x is x, y. Okay, so remember in the previous examples in 8.1, we always aim to achieve this scenario whereby we have a line in the form y equals to mx plus c. So we're going to do the same thing to the equation you see over here. So the first step will be to multiply okay, x plus b over to the left hand side of the equation. So y equals to a over x plus b. If I do the multiplication over here, I'll get this. And if I were to expand this up, okay, I'll have this. Okay, and finally, in the last step, I will shift by over to the left-hand side of the equation. So I get negative by plus a. Okay, so in this case, we realize that it is already in the form which I want, okay, which is the form y goes to mx plus c. Okay, so let us first identify our big y. Our big y is xy over here. Our big x is y over here. Our m is negative b and our c is just a okay so moving on we will go uh we will we will get a, a a series of values okay of okay since x is y in this case so i'll get a series of values for y and x y okay so i'll get a series of values later i'll show you the full table so so as I mentioned, this over here, this should be your big X and over here, this should be your big Y. Okay, so in this case, big X is Y, big Y is X, Y. So the first value of Y is 3.04. Okay, and the first value of X, Y will be 1 times 3.04, which is just 3.04. Okay, and the second value of, of Y, okay, is 2.35. Okay, and the second value of big Y okay, which is x times y, should be 2 times 2.35, okay, so this, that should just give me 4.7, okay, so so on and so forth, do the rest of the calculation on your own, okay, and you should arrive at this table that you see over here, okay, so, so remember, re, I mean, recall that our graph was actually x, y equals to negative b, y plus a, Okay, so take note that my gradient is negative b and my y intercept is a. So plotting this set of values, okay, the numbers in blue and red into onto graph paper, we will get this graph that you see over here. Okay, so let us first solve for a. Okay, since uh, you know we can just observe that the y intercept is 11.8. So take note that 11.8 is my y intercept, okay, which is just a. So my conclusion is that a is 11.8. Okay, how about for b? Okay, for b, we need to calculate the gradient, which is m. Okay, so recall that gradient is rise over run. Okay, so gradient is rise, which is 7.4, over run, which is 2.6. And uh, take note that my gradient is negative b. Okay, so by solving this, b is just negative of this value, which is negative 7.4 divided by 2.6 okay and uh, if i press this in my calculator i'll just get b to be approximately negative 2.5 okay to three significant figures okay so this might be over here okay so let's uh move on to summarize the chapter so in chapter 8.2 we will aim to find use the values of m and c, which is my gradient and y intercept to estimate the unknown. So as you can see in the previous example, my unknown constants were a and b, okay? Sometimes the alphabets might change, but the idea is still the same. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is to use the graph to obtain the estimated values, okay? Or 
we will and and sorry and we will also apply our linear law okay to analyze some experimental data okay so i'll just leave a few practices for you over here so what you can do now is to press the pause button on the video okay and uh, try this example on try this practice on your own okay Okay, thank you for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next video.